Hi YouTubers, just done a quick ex couple of experiments so I thought I'd um, let you in on it. So as you're probably already aware when the ignition is on, on the leaf, it supplies juice to the 12 volt battery to keep it topped up. Um, you can buy quite inexpensive uh, little digital displays like this which will plug into your lighter with USB sockets and then just measure the voltage quite easily to get off eBay. You'll see at the moment that it's at 14.3 that's because we've got the draw from the inverter going on um, and the, at the moment the battery uh, the 24 kilowatt battery is providing power to that 12 volt. Um, I still haven't got my head around why they've put a 12 volt battery in um, and not just uh, used a few more kilowatts and in the actual battery bank itself to actually start the vehicle and work all the wipers and electrics and things. Anyway, when I put the inverter on about 5-10 minutes ago, that was at 82 miles. Um, so already that's dropped to sort of 4 miles off the range. Um, I'll show you what it's powering anyway at the moment, which is quite impressive considering it's just a very cheap um, inverter. Um, extremely cheap, they're only about 30 quid. Um, this is a little uh, Doxin 1000 watt. Um, I'm just going to keep an eye on it because it is actually pushing it to the limit at the moment. And these cables are warm, they're not hot, they're just slightly warm. But I can feel that the inverter's sort of on its uh, limit. Anyway, it hasn't blown up and it hasn't melted yet, so uh, anyway, I'll just take you into the what is powering which is this oil filled radiator and I'm just going to check whether that's on yep that's uh, an oil filled radiator the power light here is intermittent so it's obviously as you can see just done its on the edge there I um, don't know whether you can see that but the power rating of this on full power is uh, 750 watts and that inverter is only um, a thousand watts so that's um, it's powering it but I wouldn't um, be doing that for any length of time I don't think it's just a quick experiment on it really anyway that wasn't what I was looking at was to put a radiator in the car in the winter for those of you who haven't got the more efficient heaters inside but what I did think was that there's a possibility we could actually use an electric blanket um, which I'll just go and quickly show you now the electric blanket only consumes a hundred watts so if it's doing that quite happily um, we might be able to look at one of these um, an electric heated throw um, beautiful fleecy blanket and um, no, it's not very good can't quite see it but I can tell you it's a hundred watts anyway and this is nice and fleecy I had this on yesterday because I put my back out um, and this warmed up quite nicely so I'm just going to pause this video and I'm going to install this in the car and then I shall be back in a sec. Well, anyway, for speed of use I thought we'll just plug it straight into the mains um, and then you can have a look at this throw. Now particularly for you guys that are in um, really, really cold climates, these blankets are a, a godsend. You can put them all the way around you and um, they'll keep your body really warm and what's more um, you've got a settable temperature gauge here so uh, one is the lowest up till nine so um, they say put it on to sort of five or uh, four I think is the uh, recommended uh, continuous use but to get it up to heat you can put it on to like eight or nine just to get it um, warm so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to get it warm and see how that works and then I can tell you how that's going to feel. 
So the purpose of the experiment really is um, using this 100 watt blanket might be a quite efficient way of heating yourself in the car rather than using the um, the sort of pre-2013 heaters uh, in them. So uh, yeah, that's still warm. So we'll see. I'm just going to pause this now and just uh, quickly check on the inverter and then I shall be back. Yeah, so the uh, the inverter's cooled right down. Um, I'll crank this up to nine. Um, but obviously there's a mark difference in uh, what this little blanket is consuming. Um, only 100 watts max. Um, I'll just put it on nine just to sort of get it toasty and warm. It's, I can feel it's already warming up. Um, and I think for someone in their car who wants to push a few more miles out of the range and not have the heater on, um, this blanket could be a solution. Um, I would recommend, however, that the inverter size that you get is at least 2,000 watts. Um, I've been looking at a couple on eBay at 2,000 to 2,500 watt range, um, continuous, um, with like 4,000 uh, peak surges. Um, and I think that just that just gives you a hell of a lot of headroom there to operate other tools. So I think worth investing in uh, a larger inverter. But um, yeah, this seems to be warming up nicely now. And uh, my legs and my bum and back are lovely and lovely, toasty warm. So um, yeah, there we go. There's one option. Um, I mean, you could also use this in cabs and other, other vehicles, I guess, as well. It's not just uh, confined to... Um, electric cars even though we have the issue of the heating running from the battery but you know any car that's got an alternator and is uh, putting out some juice um, totally recommend one of these blankets uh, makes a makes a comfort uh, for, for driving also one of the other things I've noticed is well I've got a bad back is that you can crunch this uh, comfort blanket up um, around your kind of lumbar area where a lot of the elements are and you can actually uh, get a lot more heat uh, to that area um, I've also got a heated seat in the leaf as well which is uh, a must and uh, and I really like that obviously you can get them as standard with the Technas but um a Techna model but I think um, having one of these you can crunch it up and give a lot more warmth to your back anyway there we go little experiment it's worked fine and um, see you soon bye